Hey guys. So today I wanted to talk about something a little more personal. Um, through my life, I have suffered with anxiety, depression. I still have am, and medicated for both anxiety and depression, among another illness that I don't want to talk about. Um, that's my own, it's my personal struggle. I just, anyway, I've been through the ringer. And the amount of people today who claim that they are suffering too is astounding. And as much as I want to love and support each and every one of you through all of your struggles, I have to say there's a lot of people out there who aren't as interested or caring as I am. There are a lot of people who say that they are only helping you by feeding you um, half-assed self-care posts, bad advice, um, manipulative advice, who are using their illness as an excuse to, get, to hurt other people. And even if they're not being outwardly malicious, um, by spreading these awful, really, I, I hate to say it again, but half-assed care posts, you are only hurting yourself and everyone else suffering by by spreading false information. I think you all know probably know the post I'm talking about, the one that says, "Oh, if you're depressed and you're only you've been wearing the same clothes for 5 days, don't worry. Just either vacuum yourself off or or brush yourself off and clean the crumbs off. It's not a problem." And don't worry about showering, just use a dry shampoo or baby powder. No, guys, that is not self-care, please. My, my little babies, my, my, my sweet furry beans, please don't take that advice. The worst thing you can do is feed your depression and feed your anxiety. I, I know what it's like, guys. I too have been through those those stages where it's been five days and you haven't left the bed. You you don't eat, you don't sleep, you don't get dressed, you don't you don't shower, you don't even go out to check the mail. I know, I know, guys. But please, when you're when you are taking the initiative for self care. And when you were trying to get out of slumps like that, please don't feed the beast by ordering pizza and staying in bed. I, it, it, it hurts me to see how many people are praising that post for being aware and for being safe for mentally ill people. No, that's not safe. If you are in a slump, the best thing that you can do is to, and I know it's hard, I know, and it's hard to find motivation to, but get out of those old pajamas or whatever clothes you've been wearing for the past few days. Even if it's only been one or two days and you just, you want to kick the slump in the butt before it gets worse, just please take off your clothes, go into the bathroom, stand there, and wait for the water to heat up. Take out, if you have that, you, we all have that body wash that we've been saving forever for a special occasion. This is a special occasion, guys. Take that special body wash and you open it and you use it and you get, stand there for 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour in that shower. You don't have to do everything at once, but please wash your hair, wash your body, relax in the water, okay? And just breathe. I, I know it's hard. I know this is the worst part of everything is getting in that shower. Even, even if you're not, not, if you, even if you don't have depression and you're just feeling depressed, which is a normal human emotion, showering's the worst. I know. This is the hard part, guys. 
but I know you can do it. So please, just love yourself and shower. Even if you don't love yourself, we'll get to that. Even, just shower. And don't put those jammies back on, guys. Don't be bad. Put on a fresh pair of clothes. It could be a fresh pair of jammies. It could be a, a, um, a pair of shorts and a tank top. It could be jeans. It could be a, a sports jacket. Just put something comfortable on that's clean. If you don't have clean clothes, you know what? That's that's the point. That's the part where you should probably think <laughs> you should probably get out of that that slump sooner than later. And I hate doing laundry, guys. Like that's the second worst thing for me. But if you are out of clean clothes, it, it's time to do the laundry. It it really is. And I know, I know, ordering pizza or or whatever takeout food is a lot easier than cooking. And cooking takes time, and cooking is hard, but honestly, one of the best depression meals is grilled cheese. It's a grilled cheese sandwich, guys. And if you're vegan or lactose intolerant and you can't have cheese, then there are a lot of other very quick and easy meals that you can make for yourself. Even if it's, um, even if it's just soup and a sandwich or, or something, something that isn't take, takeout. So that way you don't have to spend money, that and which is for, for a lot of people, especially in the furry fandom, it seems like money is a big issue. So you know if you're going to be spending twenty dollars on delivery pizza, uh, you know what? Just <laughs> I'll teach you how to make a steak instead. But my point is, it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be homemade. I mean, cereal works. It really does. But, um, it's hard, and the only way to do, to self-care is to self-care. It's not hiding in a corner under some blankets, it's getting the things you don't want to do done. Just take the whole day to get yourself in action and ready. If you have a job, and you get two days off, do it on do it on the first day. That way you have the second day to relax. If you only get one day off in a row, do everything first thing in the morning, and then you have the entire afternoon to relax. If you don't work, then just guys, just pick pick a day and do it. Do it today. Do it for your family, your furry family. Please. Stop following awful, pandering self-care posts and take care of yourselves, please. Do it for everyone around you. Do it for everyone who knows you. And do it for yourself. I, I really don't know what else to say about this. I... I really just want all of you to be okay, and although I know that's not a realistic expectation, I, I would want to see you guys take care of yourselves instead of, pa of listening to pandering posts just to make yourself feel better. Because although it may make you feel justified and better up here, up here is still going to feel awful because you can't get out of a slump. If, if any of you do want extra explanations or just to talk, I can be found at Mavanwi on Furry Amino. That's M-Y-F-F-A-N-W-Y on Furry Amino. Feel free to hit me up. We can chat, and I can help you out with whatever you're dealing with, okay? Have a good day, guys.